Hey guys, so today we will be testing out the um, GAN Magic Loop. So, um, I already tried it on my 4x4 and it was really crunchy before and now it turns really smooth. I might have over lubed it because basically I just took some pieces out, lubed it inside of those pieces, like two, three drops in those, and then I went on and I was like, this isn't lubed enough. And then I um lubed like the I lubed like around here. And so that's really smooth. And I also lubed the inner layers. So it might be over lubed, but it turns really smooth now. I really like how it turns. So um yeah. So let's try it out with some more puzzles. So over here I have my main Guoguan Ching Hen. It hasn't been lubed in a long time. Um some people recording this just again. Um, it hasn't been lubed in a long time, but um, it still is a good. It is still is a good cube. It's just a little dry. I think that might need a little bit of rehydration, if you will. Um, but let's see what happens. Oh no, that okay. Well, okay. Um, got a little bit of mess there, so. For the third time, let's try it again. All right. All right, so we got a good three drops in there or so. So uh, let's move it on. I'm gonna need this, yeah. It's getting a little bit loopy on the outside. But there's an immediate improvement in um, the speed of the cube. So. I really like this. That is really nice. Wow. Okay. So, it's really fast. I've never tried the NM37, so I don't know how to compare it. Um, yes, Cubicle Squad. Um, I don't... It's so good. It's really good. Um, I bought a two-pack of ten, as you can see. I bought it. I bought the two pack for fifteen dollars off of Amazon. Yeah, Amazon of all places. Um, but it's really nice, so I'm really happy about that. Um, let's do a solve. Um, all right, so here we go. Um, little change of scenery. Yeah, I changed my clothes, but not too big of an issue. Let's turn on this timer and um, let's do our solve. Okay, so let me scramble it up a little more. And let us do this. Oh. Oh, nice. 707. So, uh, yeah. Um, adjustment. So that's really nice loop. Um, I have another puzzle that I want to loop it with. This is my first 3 red tea and it's really dry. And for some reason, it's a uh, MF3RS, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my collection video. It's really dry, and at the same time, it's really gummy. So it's like, I don't, it makes no sense. But it's still a good cube. It's a goodish cube if you're getting into it. Um, just don't like dehydrate your cube too much. Try um, buy yourself some lube. Buy yourself like um, what I got here. So um, it's really it's really nice and it will speed up your cube if you ever need it. So let's put this aside for a second and let's use our loop. So um, let's take a piece out instead and then we do it. Mine is a little bit gunky, it, um, and, but I don't bother to clean it anytime soon because, well, it isn't my main. My main doesn't need this whatsoever. It's like, fine the way it is. So, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, you see right here, hasn't been too much. Well, it has now, but these inner layers haven't been affected. Oh, well, it is now. All right, this, this layer. 
this it, this layer isn't that affected by it. But now it's like really fast. Oh wow! I might need another drop like right here, just for good measure. Wow! That is a lot faster. This is really nice. All right, so let me scramble it up as well. Do a salt. See what it get. All right, time for the time for the timer again. See what I did there. All right. All right. A little bit still kind of dry, but um, yeah. That I could not do without the lubin. That is the easily that is easily the best time I've ever gotten with this cube. It might be because I haven't used it ever since um I haven't used it since I've learned um for the glass last year, but um still it's like really, really nice. Turns pretty fast. Um it is still dry in some places. Not there. Let's check out the corner cutting. We did check out the corner cutting. If I'm not mis, ooh, if I'm not mistaken, we did check out the corner cutting earlier. So it corner cuts almost just like new. Wow. All right. I'm gonna put like a little tiny drop right here. That wasn't very tiny, but to speed it up. I'm not the kind of guy that will just put like one or two drops of lube in something. I actually put quite a lot. I actually put quite a lot of lube in some other stuff. So uh, I'm going to take this, wipe it off. Alright. Um, this is like really nice. One thing that I notice is that with this cube, it doesn't really affect the middle layer. So, ooh, wow, that's really dry. That is really dry. I don't know why. Second. Like All right. So that's it with that puzzle. So there's one more puzzle that I want to loop and. Um, I just hope I don't run out of lube already because this is an unboxing video. And so, uh, well, one more puzzle. All right. So, if you don't know, this um, this is a YLL, uh, this is a YLM P uh, Mega. I mean, Asian logo. So it's a YLM Mega. Um, if you don't know, I actually had this lube before. I didn't have it in the um, amount that I had right now but I had the lube before and so um I lubed the layers I lubed some I lubed some of the layers and the only layer that really turned out really nice was the white layer and that turns like really well so it's like if you can hear it it's almost silent just so and so if I were to do it on another layer so let's say beige not that it's kind of squeaky some parts have like um almost like a springy noise and it's really kind of scratchy so um i'm looking forward to lubing this really quickly so um let's try it out put the lube on the pieces like i did with the white layer Yeah, that's the springy nose that I was talking about. Alright, 
Um, you know, doesn't work too much with that, so let's try internally removing it. I can't see how much I'm putting in. Put in quite a bit, probably. Still quite slow. I don't know why. Course, the puzzle is feeling quite um, loopy, though. So, um, I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't work as well as I did with the white layer. I might just have to lube it a little bit more. Um, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, no, I haven't solved the Mega Minx yet, so um, don't judge. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know, it's really weird, so, there's a side-by-side -side comparison, just like the, um, so this is the white side, and this is the orange side, so, oh wait, no, this is the teal side, and this is the light blue, light blue, I'm sorry. So, this one turns into a really nice... This one, not so much. So, well, maybe if I look where I'm going, I can get a better shot at putting the right amount of lube in. But at the same time, I still don't want to waste it again. That one I feel more confident in. I feel more confident in that shot. It may just have to sit for a little while. I don't know if that's going to work, but um, yeah, it's not working too well with Mega Minxes. So um, that kind of disappoints me. But otherwise, this is a great, this is a great loop for like 2x2, 3x3, 4x4s, um, the cubic puzzles in general. So. Um, you're really going to want to get this lube. It's really fast on the, all the cubic puzzles. I'm not really sure how, um, I'm not really sure how it does on Mega, um, uh, Pyramix. Um, and it doesn't work too well on Mega Mix from my experience. But, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's all right. Um, I really like, I really like it. You might too. Just, um, you can get it, um, a lot of places. Got in a two pack from Defantiques, and um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So that's it, and like, subscribe. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and uh, see ya.